Okay, today we're going to be replacing the bushings and lower control arms on a 2004 Toyota Sienna. Okay, I'm going to start on the right hand side, which I've already done, simply because I'm in the shade. <laughs> All right, looking around, um, so I've got a new control arm. I've got pretty much all the linkage in the mail that I need to replace. All these lower arms and links, that anything that has the bushings in it. I'm going to start with the uh, control arm. And immediately I see two bolts that are fairly difficult to get to right there. And it appears as if the far one back there um, is obstructed by the motor mount. So I'm in the process of loosening up the bolts uh, for this motor mount. Uh, and my plan is to uh, loosen up the top motor mount up here. And I'll show it to you here in a second. And then uh, jack up the engine just enough so I can get this motor mount out of here. And I'll keep it blocked uh, so I can get that bolt that's right behind there. And uh, changing this control arm, I'll make sure that this strut stays in position and doesn't actually pull out towards me because I don't want the CV joints, excuse me, the CV joints being pulled out. Uh, that wouldn't be good, so I want to keep this in position. On a side note, make sure your vehicle is properly blocked on both sides with jack stands and that your back wheels are blocked as well to prevent any unwanted rolling of the vehicle. Okay, here's the top mount. I'm going to take this bolt out. I'm gonna take this bolt out. I'm gonna take this arm out so that we can get movement up and down of the engine. Okay, so I got this bolt out and I got this bolt undone. It's a little bit tall to pull completely out of there, but I'm gonna keep it like this because I have plenty of movement up and down, and I think I can work with this. I think I can work with this. I don't think I'm gonna to need to lift the engine that much, much farther than that, that movement that I see there. Okay, so as I started jacking it a little bit, the, uh, the arm did come off and the bolt came out, so that came out nicely. And it was good because I had to raise it up just a little bit higher than what I anticipated. So back down here, um, you can see with the motor mount in place, uh, that arm back there or the bolts completely obstructed. So you have three nuts to loosen down there. One top nut. This nut actually, this uh, actually was somewhat seized in here. So as I jacked the uh, engine up which you can see I have a, a piece of wood and a jack and I'm using the uh, bearing uh, housing for the uh, axle as, as a point where I'm elevating the engine at. <clears throat> but as this uh, engine mount lifted up, I just kind of wiggled it, wiggled it, wiggled it until it fell down and I was able to just kind of pull it out, just kind of put it off to the side and now we have access to that bolt. Okay, my next step is to remove this uh, sway bar link. These are the original links on my vehicle, therefore it's fighting me a little bit. So. Make sure you get your Allen wrench in there. Make sure you have plenty of penetrant lubricant. Don't strip that Allen wrench hole out. If it starts to get tight, add more penetrant lubricant. Use some vice grips if necessary. Remember, that's a brand new link I'm gonna be replacing, so I don't care what it takes to get this thing off. If I have to, I'll cut it off, but for right now, it seems to be coming off all right. Okay. Link is off this side. I got my hand on it right here. Whole, I got it up off the other side too, so I can swing it up. And I was able to get that bolt out. And that bolt out. 
So now I'm noticing so we're getting some things apart here that we've got some uh, movement, obviously. And so we got back out, out and in movement of the CV joint. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie this strut in to the fender so it doesn't move out any. Because I'm gonna take these, two, well obviously those are off. I'm gonna take this bolt out and then I'm going to disconnect the under the three bolts. I can't really see. Uh, three, there's three bolts right there for the uh, some sort of a knuckle. Sorry, I don't know the terminology, but uh, it actually connects to the wheel hub and then to the uh, uh, rack and pinion arm. So I'll take those three off but I don't want movement of this outward. So I'll tie the strut in so it doesn't swing out on me. Then I can replace the lower arm as well as that lower knuckle piece. All right, bolt removed right there. Those two bolts removed. And now, as you can see, I tied my strut just to keep it in place. And I went ahead and removed these two nuts and a bolt that goes there. And so now this whole arm is free for me to replace. I'm also going to replace this, uh, this knuckle right here. Again, my terminology is off. I apologize. But those, for those amateur mechanics like myself, who cares, right? All right. Okay, I'm back. I uh, got the control arm replaced. I didn't want to uh, film while I was doing it to bore you with all the details and the uh, uh, learning curve for me. So, to prevent you from having to go through a learning curve, um, <clears throat> again, uh, securing the strut was very helpful. When you get this control arm off, make sure you uh, insert the bolt here. Uh, all the way through first before you swing it around and position these. Uh, I fought for a ridiculous amount of time trying to get this bolt through here when I just took everything apart and started from the beginning and put the bolt through there. So that that I fought with that. So when I when it came time for the other side, the other side you know took me maybe 45 minutes to do. <clears throat> but only because of my learning experience from this side. It seemed like the driver's side was a little bit easier too. So on the driver's side, you also have a, a motor mount here and you have a motor mount in the front of your engine, which I loosened up and I'll show it to you. So it was this uh, motor mount right there. You just take that nut off and And then uh, the three nuts on the bottom, nut on top, and then I simply used a jack with a block of wood and block and jacked up right there. And it lifted right up off of there nicely. I was able to take the motor mount off. To get to that back one back there, so they came off quite nicely. Another thing to note, <clears throat> the control arm on the left looks just like the control arm on the right. Make sure you have the correct control arm for the correct side. Mine are stamped an L and an R on them, which was very helpful. Because when I started putting the right side on, I was actually putting it on with the left arm. So, I, fortunately I caught that early. And it was a good thing that I changed these control arms uh, because these bushings are in pretty bad shape. As you can see, I tore up pretty bad. And I'm pretty sure that that has participated in my misalignment of my vehicle greatly. Uh, so we'll get this all put back together and uh, and hopefully my ink will get it aligned and hopefully I won't have any premature tire wear anymore. <laughs>